So guys, welcome to another episode of Welcomes to Aniko. Um, we've come out to a local spot of mine. Um, I've brought along another creator with me. He's been out together. We have been out together before. I've brought him to one of my spots as I usually been going to one of his spots and we've been out to other haunted location before. But today I've brought him to where I am. So we're just getting ready at the spot, just getting things together and seeing what we're going to do for our camp today. Today's going to be a really good episode because we are cooking a mixed grill type meal for our food tonight which should be banging we've also brought a new addition someone along um which is my brother he's not really done it a lot so it's one of his first proper wild camps out so he's going to be doing that and also we've brought along his little boy and this will be one of his first time he's done this sort of thing so it's going to be bringing in the younger generation to see how we do it what we get up to and what's out there different to what they normally do so yeah guys I'll bring you back in a bit when we've done a few more things, but this is just the intro to let you know we are here and this is another wild camp. See you in a bit. So as you can see, we're out in the wilderness. I can't fully see what's around me. I can't see everybody out there. Am I going to be safe? I don't know. I can hear noises. Hear noises. We're going to stealth this camp and we're going to make ourselves unknown. I'm going to take you today out into the unknown and when it gets dark tonight I'm going to take you for a walk around the area and show you the spooks and the night where we are. So wish me luck guys. If I, you don't see another video after this video you know I didn't make it. There you go, got some fat wood there, the, have a uh, nice little fire burning. It's off the fallen, uh, fallen tree over there. It's off a fallen tree, we haven't cut any trees down, it's a fallen tree, we've used it and done it. You guys, we're just at the minute setting up the area, collecting wood. This is the woodlands that we're around, so we've just been collecting wood so far. We found some fat wood, obviously I've shown you in the previous video. Um, we're going to use that to make the fire. Um, but yeah, it's quite a dry day, it's quite a dry day, but we thought we'd come out. Obviously I made it from the last video, I said if I didn't make the next, the next clip, I didn't make it. But I survived the wilderness and I crawled through the leaves and I made it here. So I will actually finish my video. The lens that we're in at the minute, there you go, see there's plenty of space here. Plenty of space, we're all here. So guys, this is going to be my little spot for the night. I've just put a little perimeter around, marked it out. So that's where I'm going to put my tent in the middle of there. It's quite hidden behind some bushes and in the bit of a verge. So, nice bit of stealth. There's my bag there. So guys, yeah, like I said, I've just showed you. I'm going to be setting up here. Um, yeah, this is another wild. There you can see him there, creeping in between the trees. There you go. Hello mate, there he is, right in between the trees, the little lion dog. It's actually not a bad day today, it's actually, it's not that cold. Obviously it's colder than a hot day, but it's not that cold. So yeah, we, we've got our camp up and ready, we're all set up, I'm darting here. We've got my brother and his sons over there, and then we've got Steve right over on the other side, he's going to be staying in his tarp. I've got my two to three man uh, nightcat outdoors tent. My brother's got the Tomato Euro Hike tent and Steve's got his DD 3x3 meters tarp. So he's going to be a tarp camp and two tent camps. Um, we've set area where our fire is going to be. We've collected a lot of our wood. Um, we've found our spots that we're going to camp on. So we've got it pretty much ready for what we wanted to do. Um, all this for now is to just obviously, it to dim down a little bit within the darkness and then we can set up our tents and stuff. Um, <clears throat> get our food on the go. I've got a new bit of kit today that I'm trialing out. It's um, a Pro-Q Smokers Barbecue. So uh, this company, Pro-Q Smokers, were kind enough to send me this Pro-Q Smokers Barbecue. Um, it's, I'll obviously demonstrate. I'm gonna show you my new bit of kit. 
So it comes in a, uh, a carry case. It's a Pro-Q Barbecue and Smokers. The company's called Pro-Q Pro Barbecues and Smokers. This is their flat dog range. Um, basically, it's classed as a barbecue, but it's a foldable sort of mechanism. It's actually a really good invention. Um, basically, what you do is you'll have it like this. So, obviously, there you go. You see, it comes flat packed. It's quite thin, it fits in your bag, it's not that heavy. Um, all you do is you, um, that's on the other side here. So that goes, where is it? That goes on that side there, so you go. There you go guys, it folds out into a proper sort of like barbecue case. And then you put that grill on top, like a barbecue grill. So then you're faced with that. So it's actually a barbecue, you see? Yeah, as I showed you how easy it folds out, how easy it comes out. So basically, you can cook all your meats and all your food on this. Um, what, can, what can be better than that? If you can't have a fire anywhere, there's no firewood anywhere, or it's not an ideal place to have a fire, like on a mountain or on a hike, and you still want to cook some nice, good food, this is the ideal kind of thing that you want. It's not a lot, it doesn't cost a lot of money for what it is. I mean, it is an outdoor accessory, it is an outdoor bit of kit. Of course, it's going to be a little bit more than a crappy little chuck away barbecue, but on the on the upside of the things, it's long lasting, it's quite sturdy, it's big enough to fit a lot of food on, and it stops you from burning the ground. So you can have this anywhere. You can take this anywhere, a beach, a woodlands, a mountain. You can take this anywhere and you can use this anywhere. So yeah. As long as you've got a little bag of coal with you, or you can find some other bit of wood, it's fine. So yeah, perfect little invention. And I'm glad that they've sent me one, because I'm going to use it today to cook some food. Bosh! There you go guys, so we've pretty much set up our camp now. Um, there you go, there's a spot there, we've outlined them just so you can see. My spot there, and Steve's going to be... Hello. Steve's, go <laughs> Steve's going to be setting up here, just there. And then we've obviously set up our little fire area. Um, little small little windbreaker just chucked together it's not perfect it's just so we've got it um we was going to do a dakota fire pit today but we found out that the ground is too rooty it's not very really good to dig through you can't really dig so it at all, can you? it's not going to be ideal so we've just changed it for a normal fire but we're just going to cook all our food on it so i've tied the dog up over there there he is nico nico he's just relaxing um that's where i'm going to be pitching We've just got the fire, the windbreaker and that ready. We've collected the wood. We've got a little bit of fat wood, so that's all good. We're going to wait for it to get a little bit darker and then we are going to set up the campfire and the tent. <laughs> Nightcat Outdoors 2 to 3 man Waterproof tent Dogs in there look There you go um, but Yeah It's quite a nice area I set it up So yeah This is what it looks like This is where I'm going to be staying for tonight The other camp There we go The other camp is there And Steve's doing his camp as well so yeah, we're all getting set up at the minute. So it's not too bad. So we're all pretty much ready. So yeah, as I said, we've been the video. So this is uh, Steve's tent that he set up. He was going to set up like a tarp shelter, but the wind was a bit too much um, and it was not ideal for this location. So he's actually set up a tent out of the sheet, made his own pegs there. And as you can see inside there, this is where he'll be sleeping tonight. So, you know, Anything's possible if you know what you're doing. 
and yeah that's going to be now a comfy weatherproof tent tonight so yeah that's steve's and then obviously we've got my brother that's here tonight as well with his little boy he's in a small two-man tent which is the tomato your hike which is not a bad tent really i mean it might be red but it's not a bad tent for the actual structure it's waterproof and it's been durable as well because this tent is probably a year old now um and then obviously my tent which is the Nike Outdoors two to three man waterproof tent um so yeah we're all set up so this is the camp in a nutshell there you go we're all separated from each other um and we're gonna have a fire just over here we've collected firewood <clears throat> we've collected the firewood we've collected some seats so we've got a bit of a seat around the fire we also made just like a quick makeshift windbreaker just so it's something there and yeah we're ready to go for the night tonight's meal guys is going to be um a mixed grill kind of meal so we're going to have steaks chicken breasts sausages but i'll show you in the video anyway i won't go too much into that i'll show you in the video there you go. this is the best sound in the world So guys tonight we've got the main fire going which is over there and this is going to be our food cooking station so it's uh it's the um, pro q smokers barbecue station that i showed you earlier on in the video so we're just getting that ready to cook our food on and then that's the main campfire there in front of the um, windbreaker but yeah this is just a camp so tonight obviously i brought along my brother he's new to this and he brought his along his little boy he's new to this that's steve you all know steve he's been in previous videos um, cheers. so this is our camp ready to go we're, we're all ready to go there you go guys it's all on the go New additions to the team. Hello, let's wave. Hello. No, the old There you go, guys. That's the final bit of the fire of the night after we've eaten food and everything. That's where the fire is going up and roaring. So yeah, what a roaring fire. Yeah. Perfect for these winter cold nights. Relaxing. It's the chap that wanted tips on lives. Making a morning coffee. Yeah, send it, Dave. I got, I got this camera. We shared it, shared it up for 120, 130, something like that. And I just said to her, I went, you take 100 for it, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, it's got that little, for that little selfie flip screen. It's like, and it does all them little, like a little fire and things flipping. So guys, this is the morning uh, finish tidying up. So that's where I was pitched over there, where the dog is, all tidy, leaves put back, so no tent there. That's where my brother was camped last night. That's all tidied again, leaves put back, no camp there. That's where Steve was camped. That's all tidied, leaves put back, and everything finished and neatly clean. We're just here now, we just had some breakfast. This is just our finishing up of breakfast, but obviously we haven't had a fire for breakfast. We've used this little um, piece of equipment. The brush box, which is quite a nice little thing. You make a little bit inside and then you can cook off of it. And then what we'll do is remove that in a minute when we've put it out and then just uh, put the leaves back and it's all tidy again. So guys, that is it. Like I've just showed you, we've just packed up, we're all finished, we're all ready, we're done, we're going home. Until the next time, see you later guys.